And being the intelligent individual of comedy that Cat is, he gonna tear your ass up. I wanna kinda touch on the Wanda Rose situation. You were definitely, like the rest of us, laughing. Um, how did that even happen from, from like, how did it even like begin? I was more than laughing. I was in, I was in the middle of it. Okay. You know, it was my interview. It wasn't it wasn't Cat's interview. He wasn't even trying to go on the radio. He explained that to Wanda that morning mm -hmm. that he didn't want to get on the uh, on radio. She kind of like kept asking him to be on a and you know, on a show. You know, but it really started like Friday that morning when he woke me up that morning because I was standing at his mansion and um, he was like, Red, I'm a, in his beautiful Cat Williams way, um, it's about time to get up, Red, it's 5 a.m., um, I'm going to be your Uber driver. <laughs> I was like, all right, so I get up and, and we proceeded to go to the radio and uh, it was just a weird energy when Wanda came in the room. You know, Wanda's a good person, so, you know, I don't ever want to dog her. I just think that at that time, I don't know what she was going through. But she gave me love, but she wouldn't give Cat love. She kind of like, it was weird. Mm -hmm. she wanted, like, did they know each other prior? I'm pretty sure they knew each other, yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they did. You know, in some form, we all in the comedy business, so we all know each other's name or energy. And, uh, you know... To me, and this is just my spirit, uh, and if you know me and my spirit, I don't get into us being um, mean to one another. But I also feel like if you're going to bring a person like Cat Williams on through my interview, mm. at least ask some questions like, and say congratulations for winning an Emmy for Atlanta. That would be my first thing I would have said to Mr. Williams. You know, it's, it's not many of us who have Emmy Awards. Not just nominated for an Emmy, he had just been announced a winner of the Emmy Award. You know, that was never mentioned. You know, it was more nitpicking situations and when you nitpick with a monster you might get bit you know you just got what at what moment do you think it like in that conversation that like it got it got well she what moment do you think it got real it stopped I think it got real when Frank was trying to do a professional interview trying to ask me about my special and a special that Cat Williams was going to direct. And, you know, people saying things, you know, little smart things, you know, out their mouth. And I knew once Cat started, started in, knowing the person that I know, knowing my friend, it's almost like he know me. If you go in on me, once I start, he can't stop me, you can't stop me, I can't even stop me. It was over, it, it was incredibly, and being the intelligent individual of comedy that Cat is, he gonna tear your ass up. You think he kinda like sized her up before he got on, just- right. he, he, he at most, no, I think, I think she sized herself up, he understood what was happening in the moment, he knows how people are, and he was prepared for anything to happen. He's always prepared. Like he's one of the smartest guys I know. He's always prepared. So, you know, once it started, he's not going to lose. He's a, he's a competitor. He's a competitive individual, and he's not going to lose. What joke had you kind of broken up the most? You remember which one? I, I don't even remember. I swear to you, like, to this day, I can't even remember what was said. Like, it was happening so in the moment that I would have to look back at the, the video again 
to because I, you know, like I said, I was in the moment. I'm, you said the headphones and that wig came together. See, I, see, I don't even remember. I, I don't remember none of that. Yeah. See, I don't remember that. I just remember when we went downstairs after that interview. It was 150 people outside of V103 that wouldn't let us move. That wanted to see. That wanted to see and tell us thank you for doing y'all crazy y'all are crazy y'all killed that girl y'all she deserved that that's all i kept hearing is y'all 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 for 40 minutes after we did that interview downstairs we were supposed to do another interview with zoo miller at his radio station and we couldn't even make it to his radio station because we couldn't leave the uh out front of v103